Okay, welcome back. Let's get started on part two of this series of learning to play by ear. Learning to play from memory. Um, this is basically what I'm doing this for is for Bode Saltry players, but um, I think it could be used for a lot of different instruments. The, uh, the process of figuring out uh, just where the notes are that I'm going to play for the song and figuring out what those notes are. You may say, well, Rick, I already read music and I use music. I've got all these notebooks of music. I've got a tablet that's full of music that I use to play my boat psaltery. And that's great. And that's a great ability to have, but you still would benefit from playing uh, by ear or learning to play by ear or memorizing tunes uh, or at least learning the process and what to what to do if maybe um, you were in a in a jam and everybody somebody called out a song and everybody started playing it and you didn't know the song or you didn't have time to get your music out and uh, start playing with the group and so you folded your hands and sat there till the song was done and you didn't do anything um, there there are some things that you can do to join in um, we'll be talking about those later but uh, don't just sit out on the uh, jam. Join in and start using that as part of your learning process. You can use that as part of your musical journey to to learn what to do. Um, um, I'll be sharing with you some things that you can do on the psaltery in, in a jam like that when uh, you don't necessarily know uh, the melody of the song or uh, you don't have any idea what the song is, but if it's in whatever key it's in. If they're playing it in the key of C, I can definitely show you what to do. Or in the key of D, or any any key, but in a, in a jam, like a, a dulcimer jam, it's mostly the songs are going to be in the key of D. Uh, in both psaltery jams, like the beginner jams, um, mostly stay in the key of C. Um, so I'll be able to show you some things that you can do to play along and uh, not even know the song. Um, think about a, uh, a choir singing. If everybody sang the melody, everybody is singing the melody part, and every voice, all the women, all the men, everybody singing the melody. There's no division into harmonies or different parts. That's going to start to sound pretty boring after a, a, a while. So um, there's advantages to learning different things that you can do to play along as far as uh, drones or harmony parts. Um, uh, you don't, don't think that you always have to play the melody. Um, and you may not be doing that when you're learning the song. Uh, but for what we're talking about right now, learning to play by ear, you are going to be playing the melody and hopefully be playing, learning to uh, sound out that melody that you have in your head on your psaltery. So that brings up a, another thing. It's another, what I think is a requirement. Um, that song or melody has to be in your head. If you can't hear that in your head, if you can't think that through, and what I mean by that is if you can hum or whistle or sing the song and sing it along with another instrument playing, that song is, is in your head. There are songs that are in your head from childhood. Um, I can think of quite a number of them, but um, there are some, some simple ones too that uh, uh, you may think that I'm kind of silly for using songs like Mary Had a Little Lamb. Do you, just out of your head, can you think 
how that song starts and how it goes. Maybe even can you sing the words? Most of you can. Um, let's do it. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. So how did I know? How did I know? It was, it's here. I didn't have anything to look at. I didn't have any sheet music. I, it was in my head from many, many years ago. Another good one, uh, a Christmas song. And a lot, of, a lot of us are familiar with Christmas songs, but uh, joy to the world. Joy to the world. Did you finish it? Did you go on with it? How did you know? Joy to the world, the Lord has come. So that second part there, how did you know to go ahead with that? I, I guarantee you most of you went ahead and did that. Um, it's because it's here. It's in your memory. Um, I may call out a song. I may say, let's sing Joy to the World. And you may not be able to remember how it starts. But if you heard the first few notes and somebody else starting the song, joy to you, your brain would kick in and you would be able to go ahead and continue the song. Um, that is a really good one that I use for folks to try to uh, or kind of trick them into playing their first song on the boat psaltery. Um, and it's a neat little trick. We share that with you. You may want to. You may want to use this sometime to, um, uh, for some time, body that you're you're showing them the psaltery for the first time. And remember, we're going to be playing songs and working through songs that are only in the key of C. So, Joy to the World in the key of C, uh, that just happens to be one song that's in the key of C, that the very first note is C and the last note of the song is C. But I'm going to go to this C, so I've got a one full octave. Joy to the world. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just play every note all the way down the scale to the low C. Let's just I'm not gonna play them in any order or play a song. Just so I didn't I didn't miss any notes. I played every note from C down to C. This time let's play them and think that tune in her head, Joy to the World, to hold the notes out in the appropriate place, starting at this C. So most folks can do that. If I show them that, just walking down the scale and, and play every note, and then I tell them, well, play those same notes, but play the tune, Joy to the World. And most folks can do that. And a majority of them will come back up and try to find the next note. That is what I'm talking about as far as the hunt and peck method of um, learning to play by ear. So you're going to be searching for that next note. My brain says, da. There it is. Da, da. So my brain, thinking the tune in my head, my brain told me which note it was. Now where did I go? So those are uh, six notes all in a row. They're just played at that rhythm. And again, you can repeat that. So you kind of see how it's we're building that tune uh, just from the beginning at, of those few notes there. And that tune is in your head. There's another thing to consider. I'm saying that you have to have that tune in your head. You have to have the music in your head. Um, 
it also has to, you have to be able to think uh, the correct pitch. Um, if you sing a song and you're off on a few notes, joy to the world, uh, it's not going to sound like joy to the world. Um, your brain, you should be able to, to um, make that correct. And by saying that, if you sing, whistle, or hum the tune, and it matches, if you can match a pitch, la, la, G, la, la, by ear, match those pitches and be able to sing that and, and hear that match. If you can if you can sing or whistle that same pitch, let's try an E. La. Let's let's get off a little bit. La. Hear how I'm lower? La. I'm higher. La. La. So matching that pitch um, that is a requirement of playing by ear. You have to be able to hear those pitches and play so you can think the tune and you know or you can hear by ear. Is that why they call it playing by ear? Your ear tells your brain that it is the correct sound or the correct note. So that kind of making sense? It, it does to me. Uh, I know Rick, Rick and his, um, all of his ideas about music, so, <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, so there's joy to the world. We figured that one out pretty quick. Let's try, I mentioned Mary had a little lamb a while ago. That's a, just maybe the first nursery rhyme or, or song that you, children's song that you learned. Um, Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> that last note of the song, most of the time, and that I'm playing the C. I was singing it or humming it in the key of C. That last note of the song will 99% of the time, I may be wrong. I've been wrong before. 99% of the time, that's going to be the last note of the song is going to be the key that the song is in. So if it's in the key of C and you're not playing a minor in C and the last note is C, that's the last note of the song. That's the key that the song is in. So if I'm going to go back and start again, that is my hint as far as what to look for for the first note of the song. I started at the end of the song and I went back to the beginning for the next note. Mm -hmm. White as snow. Mm -hmm. White as snow. Mm -hmm. There's the note I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's my first note. First note of Mary had a little lamb. How did I know that? I know the tune in my head. I can think the tune. I'm, I've got that melody in my head. I can hear the pitch. If that's C, if that's the last note of the song, my brain tells me find that first note is. Here's the first note. So, first three notes. I think most of you could probably play Mary Had a Little Lamb and could probably already do that. But if you couldn't, um, the uh, first note of the song is E if you're playing it in the key of C. So it's E, D, C, D, E, E, E. D, D. E, G, G. Hear it? Hear it match? So 
So we've played two songs so far by ear. We've started Joy to the World. We knew that last note of Joy to the World was there. And to start it over again, we're looking for that same note, but high. Mary had a little lamb. Fleece was white, white as snow. Last note of the song, we're going to start it again. Mary had. So we're starting to build some songs by um, picking them out of our head by ear. Um, the boat psaltery, as I said before, makes it very simple since one note follows another. We're not having to deal with all the frets like on a guitar and skipping certain ones and moving to different strings. We're playing, we're playing different strings, of course, but we're, we're staying in a row. It's like the white keys on the piano. That's basically what we're doing here. Um, so I think most of you are, are starting to get that. Um, I've got, um, I've got another song in mind, but we're going to save it for the next video. This one's getting a, a little bit long, so we'll start with the, the uh, next song and talk about some, uh, a few little strange things on it. And it's going to be a song that you, you will know, so don't, don't fret about it. So I'll see you in the next video. Hope you're enjoying these.